Thursday at Hammersholt Middle School, students learned how to be successful in life by avoiding drug and alcohol use. New Jersey Devils radio announcer Chris Moore was on hand to talk to the sixth graders about the hockey team. When you make the decision about drugs and alcohol and your chance will come, and we know that we will not be there as adults, we just hope that you're thinking about the right things. And we're thinking about all you have to lose and how very little you have to gain by the abuse of alcohol and by drugs. As to education, you see a lot of our players up here talking about that. And I know it's tough when you're young to, to uh, consider education as that important. But education is so important because even for our players, you look up at pro athletes and you realize, boy, these guys are making great money. It doesn't matter. When they're done with their careers, they can lie around because they got plenty of money. Well, believe it or not, no one wants to lie around. If you think that Peter Stasny is 35 years old now and it's the end of his career, is making probably 700000 a year, is just going to say, well, I've made great money, I'm a millionaire, uh, I'm 35 now, my career is ending in hockey, that's it for me, he's going to lie around and watch TV in the afternoon. That's not what he wants to do. These guys have succeeded. They have felt success on the ice or in business or anything else. You want to take steps. You want to be challenged and you want to meet the challenge. Chris Moore and other New Jersey Devils representatives visit schools throughout New Jersey as part of their school assembly program. Students watched a videotape in which players talked about the importance of education and how kids can make the decision not to use drugs and alcohol. Students also received a pamphlet which asks questions such as, why do the Devils and other entertainment people make such a big deal out of staying away from drugs and alcohol? After watching the video, students were invited to ask questions about the New Jersey Devils and hockey in general. Moore and Devils Public Relations Representative George Marrera selected two sixth graders out of the group who won tickets to an upcoming Devils game. The winners in the first morning session were Krista Penna and Michael Sauvigny. Three more pairs of tickets were given out in the next session. The New Jersey Devils games are broadcast over WABC Radio 770 AM and are also shown on Sports Channel on cable television.